Team Jackson, what's happening? So I just got off the phone with my homegirl, man, and she was basically telling me that over the last year and a half, since her last major relationship, she hasn't really found peace, especially in her date in life. And she was curious as to why, like, it, it, was it just because she was supposed to marry the guy that she broke up with and they were supposed to live happily ever after? What was the problem? And it wasn't even that. And I think deep down, she really didn't know that. Um, but the real problem was she did all three of the top three mistakes people make whenever they're trying to move on from somebody. You know, and the first one being that she isolated herself. Now, if you like me, you like your time alone. You know, you may go a day or two, maybe even a week without talking to some people because, you know, what I'm saying you just kind of need your space to gather your thoughts. But especially when you are trying to get over somebody, whenever you're moving on from somebody, when you just extracted somebody who had became a major part of your life, you do not need to be isolating yourself. Now, of course, you can have balance. You can take a couple of hours a day, maybe even a day or two just to have to yourself where you're not trying to put on a front for other people and pretend you're happy whenever you're not. Um, but the problem is people think that they, they shouldn't replace, you know, their ex with another person. Therefore, they need, just need to be alone. That's true to an extent. You don't need to be trying to replace your ex with another them. You absolutely need to replace the time that you would spend and the activities that you and your ex would do with something else that's meaningful, that gives you happiness and fulfillment. This is why it's important to have a life or a circle outside of your ex when you're in a relationship. It's just like when you move a stick out of sand, like sand replaces it. What you're doing is you're not necessarily replacing your ex in terms of them specifically and like in a toxic way that leaves you more vulnerable. What you're doing is replacing that quality of life that they took with them. You know what I'm saying? Like if you had any type of good times, going to the movies, dates, or a shoulder to lean on, those types of things, that was attributed to your, your quality of life. You absolutely need to replace that. You need to remind yourself that it's okay and you're capable of feeling happy even without your ex. So the last thing you need to do is immerse yourself in your thoughts. That's going to compound all the pain that you feel now that they're gone. Now, because she did that, because she had all that compounded pain, it led her to number two. Mistake number two was seeking revenge. Seeking revenge. Now, I don't say this because I want to let somebody who did you dirty, did you wrong off the hook. I just want to keep it real with you. Seeking revenge is going to give you some instant gratification. It is going to put a smile on your face that, you know, the bad guy didn't get off without a scar, without a scratch or anything like that. But it's kind of like drinking Coca-Cola whenever you're thirsty. It doesn't really quench the thirst. It just makes you want more of it. And somebody might say, well, that's fine with me. What happens when you want more and more and more and more? You get consumed. And I've never seen a person be truly happy after a bad relationship that was still consumed with their ex. Even if you're investing in hurting that ex so you can see them grimace and see them pay for what they did to you, it's still an investment. It still anchors them down even more so in your life and makes it harder for you to get your blessing on the other side of that hurtful experience. The last thing that she did, which a lot of us are guilty of, is that she took her ex back temporarily, strictly off of emotion, not logic. I know every time we see a meme, somebody talking about, well, I don't never take my ex back. Once I'm done, I'm done. Well, there's a whole lot of exes out here getting second and third chances, which is not much of a problem if you do it for the right reasons, because I've seen beautiful relationships happen on the second, third, and sometimes even the fourth try. But if you take your ex back strictly off of emotion, like she did, you're strictly going off of the pain is too much, going without them. Uh, you miss them so much. Uh, you tired of seeing the favorite actors in y'all favorite movie or hearing y'all favorite songs or whatever it is. You're just getting so lonesome that you don't want to do without them anymore so come on back instead of saying you know what i've seen enough evidence of changed behavior where i believe this next go go around can be different you know at least we're not going to drink the same poison if i had to pick one it ain't gonna be the one that i've already tried so i'm willing to give it another shot or i've seen enough a uh, pattern of behavior i've seen enough perspective change i've seen enough growth enough time has happened like you, you don't let emotion paint the picture of reality for you that this is all logistical too because some people say well i do believe he has changed and nobody changed their behavior in 24 hours just because they they did a form of an apology that they've never done before doesn't mean they're ready to be the man that they weren't able to be before you know and the same thing goes vice versa but what i'm saying here is she took her ex back strictly off of emotion and of course it was inevitable they got right back into the same situation they were in before but this time even worse because neither of them had healed and he had got a little bit smarter about how to hide the things that he was doing from her this next go around so it hurt even more whenever she found out so Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. And by the way, I put the Don't Forget Your Crown 50% off sale back up right now at the link down in the caption. So check it out if you haven't already. I'll let y'all later. Peace.